I did too. The future of the auto industry is here and it's electric. Today, Ford made history debuting one of its most anticipated models. The Ford F-150 Lightning now officially rolling out of the assembly plant. The price range of this electric vehicle starts at $40,000. Between high gas prices and improving technology, the electric vehicle industry could be on the verge of explosive sales. That is, if they can jump a few remaining hurdles from anxious consumers. You know, they say all you have to do is hop behind one and really try to start, start to feel it. And then maybe you can start being convinced. Fox News' Dave Spencer joins us now to map out the detours to avoid dead ends for the EV industry. And Dave, uh, you've really taken a deep dive into this. What did you find? I found that more people than ever are seriously considering electric electric vehicle purchases, but there's something holding it back. That appears to be anxiety when it comes to that battery charge. How long is it going to last? That has automakers working on a prescription to get it right. With the push of a button. There's a lot that goes through the mind of an electric vehicle owner. First and foremost, are we going to make it? That's the biggest hurdle automakers need to jump. We just left our new facility in New Hudson. Yeah. Uh, there's not many opportunities out here to charge a vehicle other right. than at our own dealership. Range anxiety, an industry term referring to an electric car driver with fears that the battery will die before they reach their destination or a charging port. Range anxiety, what does that mean to you when I say that? Well, the beauty of, of our technology is there's a motor in here. So there is no range anxiety in this car because when the battery dies, the motor comes on. That anxiety is one of the main reasons people are hesitant to buy fully electric vehicles, often going halfway, buying a hybrid. The vehicle is extremely hot. Like I mentioned to you, we used to be able to get one. You could come in and order it and it'd show up in three, four weeks. Now it's three, four months. Wow. Over at Zot's Chrysler Dodge Jeep, Jeff Snyder, like so many other dealers, is seeing hybrids roll off the lot because of their built-in safety net. If you never want to use the full electric mode and you just keep it in hybrid, you're going to get 10 to 12 miles per gallon extra every time you drive it. An electric avenue may be the way out for automakers to get people into true EVs, and the Motor City has a big role to play in that. Why Michigan then? It's where the talent is. You know, I mean, industry goes where the talent is. That talent is being tapped at Next Energy. This Detroit-based organization is solving problems when it comes to sustainable energy. Right now, Next Energy is working with Electrion and MDOT to build an EV charging road in Detroit, burying electric coils under the pavement for a wireless transfer of power. Install a, a kind of a corresponding receiver on the bottom of the vehicle. As the vehicle drives over the road, um, it makes that seamless connection and you know starts to charge. The project was first announced in February, a first of its kind in America. Right now they're finalizing a one mile stretch in Corktown where this charging road becomes a reality. But charging roads can't combat range anxiety alone. Charging an EV takes time, a lot longer than filling a tank with fuel, at least for the moment. Next Energy is also working with GM and others to develop express charging a charging station that could charge an EV in 10 minutes. So now you start to, you know, really, you know, compete with that gas station experience. While gas prices alone may fuel some to buy electric, plugging in has a price. The cost of electricity. So yes. Right now this vehicle can, can get 10 to 12 miles per gallon more, but then you're also having an electric bill at home. Right. So, you know, there are ways to sit down and calculate it and, and to figure out what your cost savings is. Mm -hmm. But when we get to the day when we're fully electric, I'm not sure what happens. A hybrid like this can be charged without making any adjustments at home. There's no special wiring required. Uh, most garages are going to be wired with that 20 amp circuit. So you just plug it in. Jim Saber with Next Energy says an overnight charge equates to about a dollar or a dollar fifty per gallon, a fraction of what you pay at the pump, among other advantages. There's no oil changes. There's no, you know, the routine maintenance goes way down. With regenerative braking, brakes last longer. Working for the consumer is one thing. In order for all of this to work, it has to make sense for automakers. And there's politics involved. In February, President Joe Biden announced $16.3 million to be used for charging stations across the country. 
Nationwide, the president wants to see 500,000 charging stations by 2030. In February, there were roughly 770 in Michigan. It's happening because it makes business sense. It makes business and environmental sense. And when those two things match up, I mean, we get, you know, multiple wins. The International Energy Agency released a new report looking at car sales around the world and confirmed that the EV market share jumped from 4% in 2020 to 8.5% in 2021. And you got to think the numbers in 2022 will see an improvement given the demand right now for fuel efficiency and the efforts to support the EV industry through access to charging stations and charging roads.